2.1 million ballots and equipment had to be cleared out of Veterans Memorial Coliseum in Phoenix today. The Arizona Senate's audit of the November election results in Maricopa County is on hold right now because of high school graduations that will go on in that same building. But the fight between the Senate and the county, that's picking up steam. Matt Galka joins us live tonight with more. Matt. Yeah, John, here at the fairgrounds, the building behind me, that's where those 2.1 million ballots will be for the next week. We're about a clear across the parking lot from the main entrance of the Coliseum. So not a big move, but you got to worry about security and safety of the ballots, and you want to make sure they don't get damaged. As for that fight, it looks like Maricopa County is about to start digging in. The audit that has captured the attention of the country, for better or for worse, is now on pause. Ballots and equipment have been moved out of the Veterans Memorial Coliseum, and they're being stored nearby at the Wesley Boland Building. While the counting will stop, the controversy likely won't. The audit Twitter account tweeted out this accusation two days ago. Maricopa County deleted a directory full of election databases from the 2020 election cycle. This is a spoilation of evidence. The tweet went viral, and audit liaison Ken Bennett addressed the claim on Friday. It may not be missing. Maybe it was deleted because it was duplicated somewhere else. And so it's, it's not a finding. There's no finding that something was deleted or missing. Uh, it's just a, a question. Most recently, my office has been accused of unlawfully deleting files, and that's just not accurate. Maricopa County recorder Stephen Richard, a Republican who won his election in November, has been inundated with accusations about a stolen election since taking office. The county maintains they're complying with the Senate's lawsuit for the audit, but the county will also look to more aggressively defend itself starting next week. They did exactly what they promised not to do, which is they released allegations before the conclusion of their study. And they did so from an anonymous Twitter account, and they said we did something unlawful, which is sort of defamatory in nature. Now, the county says they plan on telling their side of the story in a news conference on Monday. The Senate and Senate president, they have invited county officials for a meeting on Tuesday. No word yet on if they accepted that. We hope to find out more about that on Monday. We're live tonight, Matt Gelka, Fox 10 News.